Hello guys, this is Richard Rich TV and welcome back to my channel, The Tiful Certain Devotional Guys. I would like to shout out the Palayan Pursuit Channel na nagpunta rito at nag-join sa devotional premiere natin. Shout out to God bless to Honey Villos, Francis Laiko, Yorica De La Cruz, Alea Bonani, Heidi Leones, Ivy Gaiti, Karin Bakaron, Michael Aburita, Yes TV, Connie Blog, SSC TV of Korea, Heart Ponsalan, Jocelyn Costudio, Seisha Love, Rosel Badong, Pamilya Agan Channel, P. Hubs, Retro Blog, Jamaica Daing, Pearl, Pansoy, Daniel, Ab uh, Nathaniel Abelia, Francis Sakin, Distal Blogger, Estrella Jane Kison, Mikaela Lazaro, Rika May Palma, Franz Shandog, Andre Abanit, Jane Pador, Emilito Ras, Crystal Joy Balbueno, Emmanuel Lamangin, Blessery Chavez, Ken Fernandez, Jay Dariada, John Selros Magdasal, Kirby Imba, Carl James Ballesteros. Shout out na rin sa mga hindi nakisabay manood sa premiere but still napunta pa rin dito para manood at makinig sa devotional. God bless us all guys. TV Hello guys, good evening. Sana na-enjoy natin yung ano, last day na ba yun? Or parang okay, so anyway <laughs> Pasko na talaga, no? malapit na, ilang days na lang by next week, we're already celebrating the Pasko and it's uh, Sunday and uh, uh, Monday sa atin, no? Kaya laban lang, ipon-ipon na tayo para may pamili tayo ng mga regalo para sa mga loved ones natin, sa mga friends natin, no? So, as much as possible, let's not ask money from our parents. <laughs> Bao, yung mga bao natin na tinipon yung gagawin natin. Gagastusin na rin para sa mapagpamigalo. Hi right, guys, it's now for Sitra Devotional. Let's open our Bible to Galatians chapter 3 verses 22 to chapter 4 verse 7. Still guys, I'm using the Devotional Study Bible because the words you see so simply by me didn't talaga natin. Okay, what I'm reading is about sons of God. Okay, the word of the Lord in Galatians chapter 3 verse 26 to chapter 4 verse 7 says, You are all sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus. For of you... For all of you who were baptized into Christ have clothed yourself with Christ. There is neither Jews nor Greek, slave nor free, male or nor female, for you are all in Christ Jesus. If you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. What I am saying is that all, as long as the heir is, is a child, he is no different from a slave, although he owns the whole estate. He is subject to guardians and trustees until the time set by his father. So also, when we were children, we were in slavery under the basic principles of the world. But when the time had fully come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under law, to redeem those under law, that we might receive the full rights of son. Because you are you are sons, God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, the spirit who calls out Abba Father. So you are no longer a slave but a son, and since you are a son, God has made you also an heir. Amen. Amen. Let's now pray guys. Father God, we thank you for that opportunity that you have made us to become your children, to become your son, to be an heir uh, of everything you have, O oh God. You are our Father, we are your children, and thank you that we now become a co-heirs with you, O oh Lord. Lord, sa mga heirs, O oh God, may we achieve all those values na ginawa mo dito sa earth, O oh Lord God, and teach us to live with it, O oh Lord God. Faithfulness. Uh, trustworthiness, a lot, lot, oh God, na uh, kailangan. Lord, thank you that even for the viewers and dito ngayon, 
Thank you for the sacrifice, for the intention of coming to join the devotional, O Lord God, that we may all grow. Whatever problem they are in at this time, you help them solve the problem, O God. Lord, we claim all your promise na kung ano man yung uh, problema na dumarating sa buhay namin, you are there to help us solve it, O God. Your wisdom is greater than what we think we know. Thank you that you are there, okay, for us. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen and Amen. Okay, guys, our focus verse for this evening is found in Galatians 3.26, and it says, In Christ Jesus, you are all children of God through faith. So, the title of our devotion for this evening, guys, is What Are You? When I walk into an ice cream shop with my five-year-old biracial son, the man behind the counter glanced at me and stared at my child. What are you? <laughs> His question and heart tone triggered the all too familiar anger and heartache I'd experienced growing up as a Mexican American who didn't fit stereotypes. Pulling Savior clothes, I turned towards my black husband as he entered the store. With eyes narrowed and store clerk completed, our order in silence. I prayed silently for the man as my son listed the flavor of ice cream he wanted to try. Repenting on my bitterness, I asked God to give me a spirit of forgiveness with my light, but not while complexion, white complexion, I'd been the target of similar glares accompanying that some questions over the years. I struggled with insecurities and feelings of unworthiness until I began learning how to embrace my identity as God's beloved daughter. The Apostle Paul declares that believers in Jesus are all children of God through faith, equally valued and beautifully diverse, were intimately connected and intentionally designed to work together in Galatians chapter 3 verses 26-29. When God sent His Son to redeem us, we become family through His blood shed on the cross for forgiveness of our sins in verse four, uh, chapter 4, verses 4 to 7. As God's images bearer, image bearer, our work cannot be determined by the opinions, ex expectations, or biases of others. What are we? We're children of God. Amen and amen. Kasi doon sa ano, sa, I will not mention the nation ha, grabe yung racial discrimination between black and white, no? Kung minsan nga may mga nangyayari between them, no? Well, I'm also, ano, <laughs> being uh, ganito, no? Discriminated when I studied in Europe. <laughs> yung nag-discriminate sa akin is black. Sabi ko, <laughs> pinagtawanan ko lang siya sa pag-discriminate niya sa akin. Uh, sinabi niya pa na not all Filipinos can afford this thing. Sabi ko, ha? <laughs> Yan ang alam mo, but the truth is not. No? So, hindi ako napad-discriminate talaga kasi uh, sa color pa lang, panalo na ako, di ba? <laughs> panalo na tayo Pilipino. So, yung nag-discriminate sa akin black. Pinatawan ko lang siya. And then, dinadaw niya ako kasi wala daw akong pera. Sabi ko, ha? Did you know what's inside my wallet? So, yun. Mas lalo siya na inis. O, di ba? Mga responses natin ba na kung kinakansyawan tayo, yun lang. Pagtawanan lang natin sila. Babalik sa kanila yun. So, mula noon, kita kami sa Singapore uli. For a reunion, di niya na ako pinansin. Di niya na ako binubuli. Kasi alam ko, no? I know I stand. I know I stand. So, <laughs> di ba? Sabi ko pa sa'yo, oh, mas, mas pogi ako, mas pogi ako kaysa sa'yo, no? <laughs> so, yun. And then, na-notice niya na maraming mga taong lumalapit sa akin, mas lalo siyang nainggit kasi uh, iba yung kulay niya. Dark as in dark talaga, no? Okay, so, how, that's how I cope discrimination for myself. So, let's now proceed to the two questions, guys. When have you doubted your value as a person due to the opinion, expectation, or biases of others? Yun. Ang dami talagang ano, nagda-down sa akin, pero, well, God is there to depend on me. No? Uh, and then, si Lord na nag-depend sa akin. Grabe. May sudyante, minsan, uh, during the pandemic, pinagsabihan ba naman ako na, 
You are so bubo. <laughs> you, ikaw yung teacher na pinaka di marunong. <laughs> Natawa ako. Doon ako nag, ano, nag-reply sa group chat namin. Sabi ko, yes, I'll accept. Bubo ako. Ganito lang naman ako kabubo. <laughs> I finished Bachelor of Science in Commerce, major in Accounting, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Bachelor of Science in Education, and I have my scholarship abroad. Uh, I have two master of uh, guidance counseling, educational management, and uh, I have two in situ call center and caregiving. Sabi ko, ganyan ako kabubo. Oh, so, di ba? Ano nangyari? <laughs> Siya ang inaway ng mga classmate niya kasi doon ako nag, ano, doon ako nag, uh, nag reply sa group chat. So, mga defense mechanism natin pag didi-discriminate tayo. No? Kasi we know our standing, uh, we know our stand with God, lalong-lalo na anak tayo ni Lord. Ipaglaban talaga tayo ni Lord. So, yun no? Yung mga nagdi-discriminate sa akin, natatawa na lang ako sa kanila. Okay, second question. How does knowing all God's children are His image bearer help you love those who are different from you? Yeah, they're insulting us, no? Uh, pag ini-insulto nila tayo, mas lalo na-insult si Lord because we are all created from the image of God. O, oh, diba? So, may depensa tayo na we can really move on God loves us so much. Ah, yes, yes, now pray. Father God, please help us to see ourselves and others through your eyes. Help us love with your heart as we come into contact with people who are different from us. Amen and amen. Guys, dapat di tayo discriminate. They're insulting God. If they are discriminating us. God bless us all guys because in know show God bless us 10 times better. This is again with TV. Kita-kita tayo mulitang sa hindi. Paalam!